welcome back everybody uh yeah hope you guys enjoyed the last video that was just a quick video on the v-band to see how it how it held up and how fitment went so yeah actually everything went well guys holding up well i still have to get a video going for you guys just showing um, how the car is pulling and sounding with a new with a v-band conversion on it um yeah so obviously with this project guys there's a new thing um <laughs> there's always something you want to change so i'm back onto the next thing which is going to be my gear selection which throws me away every now and then um i just feel it's a bit long and very sloppy we'll get into that right now um i'm gonna try and get some measurements i have my my special tools and things here to see if i can get the best measurements for you guys um and then we'll see if there's any difference it's going to be a homemade one but it's extremely difficult to come by in cape town so it's going to be a homemade one yeah and hopefully that pans out well um and i'll just run through the selector and i'll take it from there so for, yeah, for those who don't know i'm keegan it says it right there <laughs> and yeah once again with my mark 4 gti um, gt30 turbo conversion trying to get the best out of it enjoy the video guys okay guys so here we have my shifter um yeah i'm gonna show you guys exactly what the throw is at the moment and then we'll see if we can get it any better so i have to apologize about the ruler there my dogs decided to have some fun with that but nevertheless <laughs> it's not gonna hold us back so yeah the, um, the shift itself uh, it's a bit dodgy need some replacing there um, but we'll get to all of that for now it's just to get through the gears quicker and get it running fine uh, yeah so the shifter itself doesn't feel too bad um, all the bushes in the casing feel you know pretty solid there is a little bit of play but i wouldn't say that's too much of a concern uh, most of my issues are probably in front but we'll get to that in a bit so yeah as you can see at the moment we're sitting at about um 30 mil there and if we swing this all the way down that brings us to about i'd say about yeah 170 mil so that's the throw we have at the moment so yeah ideally you know it might like just shorten that up a bit get into the gears quicker um as you can see not the worst but there is a little bit of play but I'll show you the front right now and we can take it from there so guys um, yeah, as you can see we have the shift up front here one time mechanism um, I have replaced the bushes over here those solid bushes that is from Thanos performance and yeah, shout out to them for the tuning all the uh, aftermarket parts they provide really really cool and um, yeah so i'm gonna turn the focus to this plastic slide over here and um, i would suspect that's where most of our issues are if you guys can see there there's quite a bit of play there and i'm just pushing over here as well uh, it's a little bit of play um, so i would say i'm losing quite a bit of feel and throw in there um, but yeah over here it's pretty solid that's what it's supposed to do um, yeah but let's see what we can do about that over there stay tuned guys let's get to the fun bit which should help us with our throw so i have been checking online seeing what some other guys have been doing and apparently if you shift this over a bit you will have a bit of a shorter throw um, i haven't followed the, the, the guys ball to do to see if you had much much success but i can imagine that this might get in the way here but yeah so we're gonna try and shift this linkage over to this side and yeah so we'll go back and measure it and see if that has helped us a bit at all um but we'll get to that Okay, so there we have it. I've made my little mark over there. So I'm gonna 
draw a little hole through there and yeah, see how that goes and then I'll just put the bolt and nut through it but let's see hopefully just with drilling that hole um, we can see some improvement so there you have it guys uh, draw the hole over there and just flattened it out a bit the bolt was you know, wasn't sitting flush so I just had to straighten that out a bit and the same on the other side just straighten that out a bit over there um, yeah, so it's about time to put it in. I have this bolt over here. Bolt's obviously going to go through like that. And then shift the linkage over there. And that should all be in order. So let's see how it turns out. And we are back. So yeah, that is where we are at at the moment. Um, shifted the linkage over. As you can see, there's the previous little um, guide for it. So we shifted it over to this side, just have to tighten everything down and then it is testing time, hoping for the best. Uh, I would say it doesn't take too much of your time, I think I spent about half an hour on it. Um, yeah, I still have to secure that properly, that one nut over there is not going to work, so I'm going to extend it a bit, play around with it, but this is simply just for testing, not using the car at the moment. So luckily it can stand, um, but let's see what we can get right. Okay, so we are back inside the car with our sloppy shifter. Um, yeah, I've tested it out, haven't measured it yet, feels different. Um, let's see, so we are back on 30, over there where we were before. And we're shifting down to our fourth gear and shit. Believe it or not, we are sitting at 140. So before we were sitting all the way at 170. So yeah, I obviously had to adjust the ruler back to the 30. So basically what I've noticed is um, the shifter was sitting a bit more to the front before, over here somewhere. And now it's just a bit further back. So yeah, sure. I would say it's a, a crazy difference between the two. Um, yeah, that's that's shock. Sure, that's quite the difference. So I just move that out of the way. It is honestly, it's it's really weird. It feels like it's not going in gear. So that's first, second, third, fourth, fourth, sixth. But like the first time I felt it, I, I remember watching a video of another guy who did a short shifter. And he mentioned that it just feels like it's it's not in gear. You have to get used to it. And I was like, oh man, that can't be that bad. But it really <laughs> is that weird because that's literally first gear. I mean, it's crazy. Just like that first. Before it used to be like flipping all the way through to the firewall over there. Um, I'm 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 bloody amped to try this out and. Yeah, I'm empty to try it out and see actually how it feels on the road. Just have to finishing, finish everything up in front there. Um, but for what we've just seen, uh, it was from 30 mil to, um, you know, all the way from 30 mil over there down to, I think it was 170. And now we're sitting from 30 to about, say, 135, 140. Um, I think that's impressive. Just for something you can do at home, I think that's really impressive. But I'll let you guys know how the drive goes, um, keeping fingers crossed so that 